Also be perceived as ducking. The ducking is, and yeah, of course, it could be perceived as ducking. But the, but I tell the perceivers, go screw yourself. What do I care what you think? <laughs> I mean, anything can be can be perceived as ducking. But I have a job to do, and my job to do isn't to put a fighter in with another. Other fighter, just because people say, well, let's see how it'll come out with that fight. You do, you make a fight. What I do, for example, they asked me, would I do a Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence fight? And the answer is, of course. But it's got to be a fight where Spence makes a lot of money and Crawford makes a lot of money. If that can happen, that's fine. Why would you put Spence and Crawford against each other on a fight either on Showtime or on ESPN, where their purses are not the same as they could make if they were built up, both of them, and fought on pay-per-view. How good, how good is Errol? Have you seen him? How good is he? And how far can he go, Errol Spence? Errol Spence looks like a man. He was the one guy after that Olympiad that we tried to get and didn't get. It was Spence. We tried hard to get Spence, and Heyman got it. So we have always recognized him as a superior talent. No, it's you no. Like Crawford Marta? What? You like Crawford Marta? Seriously? Crawford what? You like Crawford Marta and Spence? I think yeah. I think Crawford. We think Crawford has the potential to be the best welterweight out there, and it remains to be seen. But as of now, if I had the choice of, of everything being equal, picking one or the other, I would pick Crawford. But Spence is the closest out there to, to Crawford.